Have you ever wondered whether the bloodline of Jesus Christ still exists in the world today? This question has tantalized scholars, theologians, and curious minds alike for centuries. To understand this enthralling inquiry, we must first delve into the historical roots of Jesus Christ's family as outlined in the biblical texts. The Gospels of Matthew and Luke, two books in the New Testament, provide us with the most comprehensive accounts of Jesus' genealogy. They trace his lineage back to David, the legendary king of Israel, and even further to Abraham, the patriarch of the Jewish people. However, it's intriguing to note that the two Gospels present differing genealogical paths. While Matthew traces Jesus' ancestry through David's son Solomon, Luke traces it through another son of David, Nathan. The reasons for these differences remain a subject of scholarly debate. Now let's turn our attention to Jesus' immediate family. The New Testament introduces us to several individuals referred to as Jesus' siblings. Among them, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas are named as brothers, and there are references to unnamed sisters as well. But who exactly were these siblings? This has been a contentious point among theologians. Some argue they were Jesus' full siblings, children of Mary and Joseph, while others suggest they might have been half-siblings or cousins. The Greek word used in the Bible, adelphoi, can mean both brothers and close relatives, adding another layer of complexity to the debate. So why does all this matter? Well, these biblical references filled with ambiguities and contradictions form the groundwork for the concept of Jesus' bloodline. They provide a foundation of fact, or at least belief, upon which countless theories, legends, and speculations have been built and continue to be built. These biblical references form the foundation for the idea of Jesus' bloodline, a concept that has sparked countless theories and legends. As we delve deeper into this captivating topic, remember to approach it with an open mind, ready to explore the intersections of history, faith, and speculation. The idea of Jesus Christ's continuing bloodline has given birth to numerous legends and speculations. Perhaps the most famous of these theories is the one suggesting that Mary Magdalene, often considered Jesus' closest female companion, was not only his confidant but also his spouse. According to this speculation, Mary and Jesus had children and their descendants made their way across the continent, eventually settling in Europe. But the story doesn't stop there. Enter the Merovingian dynasty, a line of Frankish kings who ruled parts of modern-day France and Germany from the 5th to 8th centuries. Some believe that this royal bloodline didn't just carry the genes of earthly kings, but also those of the king of kings himself, a direct lineage from Jesus and Mary Magdalene. If this theory sounds like it's straight out of a medieval legend, that's because, for many, it is. This narrative takes an even more intriguing turn with the introduction of the Priory of Sion. This secret society, as the story goes, was purportedly established to protect the bloodline of Jesus Christ, specifically the descendants within the Merovingian dynasty. The society allegedly operated in the shadows, orchestrating events behind the scenes and guarding the secret of Jesus' descendants with utmost secrecy. But here's the catch. Despite the allure of these tales, they remain just that, tales. There's no solid historical or archaeological evidence to support these claims, not a shred of proof that Mary Magdalene and Jesus had children, no definitive link between Jesus and the Merovingian dynasty, and the Priory of Sion's existence is heavily disputed. These theories, though unproven, have captivated the minds of many, leading to a surge of interest in the possible descendants of Jesus Christ. They have sparked debates, inspired novels, and even shaped the way some view the history of Christianity. And while they may be rooted more in fiction than fact, their enduring appeal is a testament to the enduring fascination with the life and perhaps the lineage of Jesus Christ. Popular culture has played a significant role in popularizing these theories. In the realm of fiction, the books Holy Blood, Holy Grail and The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown have been instrumental in bringing these ideas into the mainstream. While these works are indeed fiction, they've sparked widespread interest and debate around the globe. The allure of these stories lies in their blend of historical facts, religious lore, and suspenseful storytelling, which has captivated millions of readers. The narrative that Jesus might have had descendants, and that they possibly settled in Europe, is an intriguing concept that has fueled speculation and discourse. These books have spurred a renewed interest in biblical history, encouraging readers to delve deeper into the life and times of Jesus Christ. 
Despite the controversy they've stirred, one cannot deny the impact they've had in bringing these theories to the forefront of public consciousness. The impact of these works has been so profound that it has drawn responses from Christian institutions and theologians. Traditional Christian institutions and theologians have had mixed responses to these theories. Some have outright dismissed them, asserting that they lack substantial evidence and straying from the traditional understanding of Jesus' life and purpose. They argue that these theories are based on conjecture and interpretation rather than hard historical fact. Others within the Church have taken a more open-minded approach. While they may not fully endorse these theories, they acknowledge their potential and the intriguing questions they raise about the life of Jesus Christ and the early Christian community. The controversy and debate these theories have sparked within the Church are undeniable. They've led to passionate discussions about faith, history, and the interpretation of biblical texts. Some view these debates as a threat to the Church's integrity, while others see them as an opportunity for growth and exploration. Despite the controversy, these theories continue to captivate the public imagination. The question of Jesus' bloodline is a fascinating blend of history, faith, and speculation. This interplay is a colorful tapestry, rich with historical references, faith-based interpretations, and a whirlwind of speculation. The historical narrative as told through biblical texts provides us with a foundation, a starting point. Then, faith steps in, coloring our understanding of these historical events and infusing them with profound spiritual significance. But where history and faith leave gaps, speculation rushes in to fill the void, spinning tales of secret descendants and hidden bloodlines. Yet as we traverse this intriguing labyrinth, it's crucial to carry with us the lantern of discernment and the compass of critical thinking. Without these, it's all too easy to lose ourselves in the maze of conjecture and controversy. Whether Jesus' bloodline continues today remains a question steeped in mystery, a testament to the enduring intrigue of one of history's most influential figures.